Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd love to understand how you can stop settling for less in a man or less in love, well, stick around because that's what you and I will be discussing on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV that come today. It's another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm very pleased and pumped to be sharing with you how to stop settling for less in love how to stop settling for less from a man. The first concept I'd like to expand on today is this whole thing about the serving. In theory, we all deserve to be healthy. We all deserve amazing bodies. We all deserve to make a lot of money. We all deserve to get an amazing partner who loves us unconditionally. The truth is, you get what you tolerate and you get what you're willing to pay the price of, metaphorically speaking, and step into and create. If you want an amazing body, you don't deserve that unless you're willing to eat healthy and exercise. If you want an amazing partnership, you don't deserve that until you're willing to first become that partner and then set an example of how you want to be treated and what kind of love you want to create in that partnership. So what I'm going to be discussing with you right now is, aside from the fact that uh, the serving is a verb, is not really a noun, is that if you want to create a sense of being more aligned with what you feel you deserve and you want to stop the feeling of I'm settling for far less than I want to experience in my lifetime, these are four simple steps you can step into right now. Number one is be incredibly clear and radically honest with yourself as far as where you are today with areas of your life that you feel uncomfortable with. And that means that you don't make it better, but you don't make it, I mean, you don't make it worse, but you don't make it better. Many women that I connect with who are experiencing, for example, being incredibly disrespected in a relationship will often soften the experience by the words they use to avoid feeling pain and to not have to do something about it because it's scary to go out there and create something new or to leave a man. So if a guy is being a dick towards you and what you're saying in your mind is, well, he's being a little disrespectful, being a little disrespectful and a complete dick are completely different things. So long as you look at the reality in a less in a less real way <laughs> to be redundant, you're not going to feel the drive or the passion or the inner fire to create a change. So stop numbing the pain by using words and by using metaphors and by looking at your life in a way that's fluffy and rosy. If things are not working, be willing to see them exactly the way they are because that pain that you experience and you will experience pain will drive you towards action. Number two is raise your own personal standards for how you show up what kind of partner you are. And here's what I mean by that. You want to be able to say, hey, here's what I need from someone, but it's very hard for you to say, I want you to be a passionate man who is incredibly communicative and who's conscious and who is looking at me with eyes of desire when I don't have that inside of me, when I don't look at myself or at you with eyes of desire, when I have zero passion for life and zero passion for you, when I talk to you in a way that's very disengaged, that conscious, so the first thing you must become is that partner that you want. The first thing you must do in love, if you really want to create that kind of love that you want, is to raise your vibration by being the kind of qualities that you want to experience, so to speak. The third one is, now that you've stepped up and raised your own personal standards, right, about how you show up, how you communicate, how much passion you experience, how alive you are, how you treat your body, how you treat other people around you, how much consciousness and presence you engage in conversations with, then you can state what you want, but not until then, because if you state what you want, you say, well, I want you to be passionate, but here I am feeling bored every single day. Well, there's a mismatch there and the universe is not gonna grant you that. So when you say, <laughs> this is what I want in my life, you state it in the present. You say, this is exactly, now that you've stepped up, in the, like this is the kind of relationship that I will get in my life that I'm stepping into, a relationship that's conscious, that's respectful, anything that you want, you can now voice to your man in the present tense and without having to say, hey, if you're not this way, then I'm gonna leave you. That's almost like stated tacitly when you say, this is what I know I will experience in my life. You're giving him an opportunity to be that guy if he chooses to be, step up and say, you know what? I'm gonna be more respectful, I'm gonna be more engaged, I'm gonna desire you more, I'm gonna pursue you more. But if he doesn't do that, and you're basically saying that you are gonna be in a relationship where a guy really pursues you, if he doesn't wanna be that guy, he doesn't have to, but he knows in his mind that he's about to lose you. <laughs> you don't have to say, I'm gonna leave you. You're just basically saying, that's what I will have. I'm committed to having that. And if he doesn't wanna step up, then it's his loss. Number four is set boundaries with love. Setting boundaries with love is incredibly important because if you're willing to step up and be that kind of partner, the kind of partner you want, right? In terms of vibration, aliveness, passion, excitement, and then when somebody shows up and is a complete jerk or 
disrespects you or talks to you in a way that is not what you want or does actions that show that your time is not being considered, you, if you don't set boundaries with love, then you'll feel resentful and this will not work out. But if you set boundaries with love, you teach the other person that you have a new standard and that you're not settling for the old ways. So for example, if a guy is ignoring you all week and he calls you Friday night and says, hey, sweetheart, what are you up to? <laughs> the answer is something else, right? And he says, let's do something. Well, the boundary with love answer would be, thank you so much for thinking of me. I have plans right now. Let's connect some other time. And then he knows you're teaching him, hey, if I want to connect with her, I'm going to call her with more anticipation, right? And you can take that into any part of feeling that you were not getting what you deserve. You said it how you want it to be with calmness and with love. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the description of this video or on your link right here on your screen, you'll see a way for you to sign up to a blueprint webinar that I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment below and I promise to either respond personally or create a video just for you. Thank you.